don't believe that we will be ever in a position to predict when and where a financial crisis will strike. Predicting exactly the extent of the crisis is very difficult. It's very similar to earthquake. You can't predict the zone of the earthquake, but you can't predict how and when. We can study and forecast uh, conditions that could trigger one of these crises. And one important thing that we could do is to measure and improve the stability of the financial systems. This FOC project is a uh, future and emerging technologies uh, financed project uh, and the aim is to put together an interdisciplinary consortium just uh, to uh, do basic research in this area. We want to really push forward the, the research we have been doing over the past years to be able to identify some early warning signal of a crisis. We are interested in two major issues. One is the visualization and the analysis of the network effects that occur in financial systems. And the second issue is the uh, scenario forecast. We worked in an analysis of board of directors, that is a network. We work in the analysis of stock ownership network. And uh, recently we considered the interbank network and we spotted the fragilities of all these systems. We have a good understanding of fragility in ecological systems and that there's perhaps a possibility of translating some of those findings from ecology to finance. My main interest is trying to put in the network the agent-based analysis so you can understand from an idiosyncratic point of view the evolution of a single legend but in a general context. So we would like to understand systemic and individual risk. Data are absolutely central in this project because uh, uh, we are uh, now in a society that produces a, a huge amount of data. We are in a pervasive society, we have sensors, we have uh, rare logs of uh, your access to the web and financial transactions, of course. <laughs> I would like to focus and to understand on information contained in uh, data such as query logs and social networks, Twitter, for example. So how the large crowd, large mass of people uh, respond and react to what's happening in the financial sector and in the market. We want to, to see whether something happened around the, the dates of the previous crisis and be able to use these indicators to foresee and forecast for crises in the future. Some quite recent research that we've done on a slightly different uh, system, Facebook applications spreading among the social network of Facebook, was very revealing because we were able to show that there are different phases of collective behaviour that seem to subtly reflect differences in social influence processes. These sorts of processes are, of course, very important in social systems, but they affect financial market sentiment as well. Uh, the target uh, the, that we have in mind for this project, for the FOC project, uh, is not really that of the market, uh, the street market and finance and traders, uh, uh, for which, by the way, it could have an application. Our idea is uh, rather to provide for the first time a quantitative measure of concepts that uh, the policy regulators already know. There is the ambition of constructing this uh, 
IT platform that can be used by policymakers to monitor in real time the development of this network of interconnectedness between banks and firms, and as such can be used as an instrument for policymakers to test some policy rules and some regula regulatory regimes and also to introduce some measures to mitigate the risk that the crisis may arise. What FOC will be able to provide is a better understanding of how to regulate banking when there are strong interdependencies between banks and financial markets that are very difficult to deal with. We are dealing with a complex system, so whenever you act on a certain point, the effect is not that clear. This is the case, for example, of the food webs in the North Atlantic, where you have uh, cods and seals and then you kill the predators of cods. This not necessarily triggers an increase in the population of cods. And the same is in financial systems. You do the wrong regulation and then you obtain exactly the opposite effect. So this is the interesting stuff. It's trying to understand what causes what in this kind of system.